what does it mean? Now, let us see some practical examples in order to understand what is the pose and pressure. For example, let us take a hockey player, right? And a goalkeeper saving a goal, that means you will be observing in playing, they will be holding the ball in order to not to hit the net, right? That means they are saving in order to not to have a goal. That means they are applying some force in order to catch or hold the ball or stopping the ball, right? The ball is thrown with high, a person is throwing the ball with some force and other person on opposite side is exhibiting an opposite force that some pressure in order to hold the ball without hitting the net. That means, that is an example where you can observe the force and pressure acting simultaneously on an object that is goal he was saving a goal and a hockey player picking a ball. That means if you observe a hockey player, a hockey player always uh, hits the ball. How he hits, he applies some pressure on the hockey stick to hit the ball. That is known as pressure. And now if you see another example practically, a fielder stopping a ball, that means a cricket ball when it is thrown, right? You will be holding it, right? And all those things, cricket and ball, all you know very well in playing, you most of the sports, all those sports, you should apply some force and some pressure in order to hold or catch or hit or anything. And while you see some activities, mostly these activities include this force and pressure and those activities are picking, pushing and pulling. If you observe a simple experiment, when you go to any malls or anything, any complexes, you will be observing the push your door or pull your door. That means pushing means you are applying some force, right? In order to push the door and pulling the door you are applying some pressure. That means if the force and pressure are acting simultaneously. And uh, opening, opening a door, you should require some energy. That is the force you are applying on the door. And shutting, hitting, anything, whatever activities or the verbal forms, that means whatever action you are performing, further energy is consumed at the same time, further energy. This is resulted into the formation of force and pressure applied on the objects. Now, let us see the definition of force that is, the force is defined as a push or a pull on an object. That means it's simple. When you push a door, or when you pull a door, or when you close a door, or when you open a door, whatever it may be, you are applying some force on that object. It is simply defined. For example, let us take practically this is a pen. I am applying some force to open this pen and this is known as pulling or opening of the cap. That means here I am pulling or pushing activity is done on this object, right? So I have expected some force on this. Hope you understood. Any activity considering of pushing or pulling of some object is related to the force. And let us see how this force is expected and what is the reason behind it and what are the causes of this force. Let us see how these causes are occurred. That is the reason behind these causes and the causes behind these causes. Causes are occurred or the reason behind them is the main cause is interaction. What do you mean by interaction? Interaction is nothing but Connection between two objects is said to be as interaction. That is, if suppose this is carbon and this is a person or a man, these two objects are separate to each other. If at all this person tries to move this car, that means it is applying some force, right? Here, if you observe this person applying some force in order to move this car. So, the car is moving. That means here this person is touching this car. You can observe that this is, he is touching with his hands this car. This is known as interaction. None other than with this interaction, we can't say that force is acting. That means without this interaction, there is no force exerted on a particular object. So, this
this person is exerting or is putting uh, some energy on this car or applying some force on this car in order to move this car. I hope you understood. The forces are occurred or forces are the reason behind the interaction of two objects. Now let us see two things. Practical examples you can observe that a car and a man.
because it will be moving, right? 